Welcome back to the channel. We've got some huge updates coming straight out of Gamescom and you're not going to want to miss this. Today we're diving into the latest and greatest in cloud gaming from seamless Xbox integration to epic game releases including the highly anticipated Black Myth, Wukong and a first look at the Final Fantasy 16 demo. Whether you're into action-packed RPGs, strategic empire building, or classic adventure, there's something in this update for everyone. So let's get right into it. Finally, some good news for Xbox players. We've been asking for this ever since Xbox came on board with GeForce Now, and it's finally here. Automatic sign-in. No more typing in your login details every time you want to game. Now, you can just link your Xbox profile, and boom, you're automatically logged in across all your devices. It's about time, right? This is especially awesome if you're a Game Pass subscriber. Now, you can jump into your favourite PC titles without the hassle of signing in every single time. It's little things like this that make the gaming experience so much smoother. I'm definitely here for it. Alright, let's get into the game releases starting with Black Myth Wukong. This game has been hyped for a while and now it's finally here. If you've seen the PS5 performance, you know it's been, let's say, a bit of a roller coaster. But hey, this could be the way to play it. Just straight up epic gameplay as the Monkey King. The graphics are insane, the combat is fast and fluid, and the world is just gorgeous. If you're into mythology and action-packed RPGs, this is definitely one to watch. It is also breaking records on Steam. Then there's the Final Fantasy 60 demo. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one. The game drops in September and is confirmed as coming to GFN, but you can get a taste of it right now. If you're into dark fantasy worlds and high octane action, this is right up your alley. The visuals are insane and the combat is super dynamic. It's all about strategy and skill, so be ready for some intense battles. And let's not forget about the Civilization series. Yes, Civ fans, it's time to build those empires again. Civilization 4, 5, 6 and Beyond Earth are now available. Whether you're a veteran or new to the series, it's never been easier to dive into these iconic strategy games. Will Civ 7 come place your bets now? Now for all you adventure fans out there, this next one is going to hit you right in the nostalgia. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is coming later this year and it's shaping up to be one epic ride. If you've ever wanted to live out your fantasy of being indie, this is your chance. You'll be uncovering ancient mysteries, dodging traps and of course cracking that iconic whip across some of the most legendary locations. The story has you globetrotting in true Indiana Jones style, from the Vatican to sunken temples in Asia and even the pyramids of Egypt. It's got all the makings of a classic Indiana Jones adventure with a modern twist in gameplay and visuals. If you're into cinematic action games, this is definitely one to keep on your radar. And yes, it will be on Game Pass. Before we dive into the rest of the games coming this week, Let's give a quick shout out to the new GeForce Now data center that just launched in Warsaw, Poland. This is fantastic news for gamers in Eastern Europe, making the gaming experience smoother than ever. Now let's get into the games coming to GeForce Now this week. There's a solid lineup, so let's break it down. First up, we have Gigantic Rampage Edition available for free on the Epic Games Store starting August 22nd. This one's a must try if you're looking for some over the top action. Next, Skull and Bones is setting sail with its new season. If you're into pirate battles and epic sea adventures, you'll want to dive into this one. For those who enjoy a bit of horror, Alan Wake's American Nightmare is up next. It's a psychological thriller that's definitely worth revisiting. Commandos 3. HD Remaster is also coming perfect for fans of tactical warfare with an upgraded look. If the Wild West is more your speed, check out Desperados 3. It's a tactical stealth game that mixes strategy with some serious gunslinging. For something a bit lighter and more humorous, there's the Dungeon of Nahilburg, the Amulet of Chaos, a fun RPG that doesn't take itself too seriously. Survival fans will appreciate the Flame in the Flood, where you navigate a post-societal America by river trying to stay alive. Next, FTL. 
Faster Than Night is a roguelike strategy game that puts you in control of a spaceship on a mission to save the galaxy. It's a tough but rewarding experience. If you're into more artistic and story-driven games, Genesis Noir offers a cosmic adventure with a jazz noir aesthetic. For those who love simulation, House Flipper is perfect if you want a relaxing game where you can renovate homes and bring your creative ideas to life. Medieval Dynasty lets you build and manage your own dynasty in the Middle Ages, combining elements of survival, strategy and RPG. My Time at Portia is another life sim where you restore your father's workshop in a post-apocalyptic world. It's charming and full of character. Night in the Woods is an indie favourite all about narrative and returning to your roots in a small town. For economic strategy enthusiasts, off-world trading company lets you dominate the Martian economy and outmaneuver your competitors. Orwell, Keeping an Eye on You is a narrative-driven game that explores themes of surveillance and privacy definitely one for the story heavy gamers. Project Winter is a multiplayer survival game where betrayal is key. It's all about outsmarting your friends or enemies. Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun brings tactical stealth action to Japan's Edo period. It's a must play for fans of strategy and stealth for something more serene. Spirit of the North lets you explore the beautiful landscapes of Iceland inspired by Nordic folklore. I'm wrapping it all up. We have Wreckfest, perfect for those who love a bit of vehicular chaos, smash, race and dominate the track. So that's the full list of games coming to GeForce Now this week. What's going on your playlist? And that wraps up this week's update. Thanks for hanging out and checking out the latest in cloud gaming with me. Don't forget to drop a comment on what you're excited to play. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop for all things gaming. Until next time, happy gaming.